Well, hello. Um, outside here this afternoon just to do a quick review of this uh, rear tail bag I bought for my GT. The, uh, this is a great option if you, uh, A, don't want to invest in the full top case, hard top case because of the cost, or B, if you just like the look of uh, and the feel of something a little lighter and smaller on the back of your bike. This is one of a few tail bags that BMW offers, and they're designed specifically for this rack system that the GT shares with the RT, and I believe a few other models, the older GT, for example, and um, I think some of the smaller F-Series GTs. Anyway, this bag is great, and I highly recommend it. It's not terribly cheap. It retails for about $186 in the States and about $205, $210 up here in Canada. But I highly recommend it. It's probably, I would say, one of the better one made ones you could buy. And it fits on and goes off and on the bike very easily. And I'll show you how. The bag connects to the bike using two systems, or two, two components. First of all, in the front here are these two buckles, which clip into the front of the bag. And on the back, it's held on using this underside pocket, which slides onto the, the rack here. This is a standard rack that is shared with the RT and other GT models in the BMW bike range. It's great. Slides on and clips on, just like so. Temporary removal is done with the buckles. Permanent removal is not much, not much more difficult. Unclip it, pull the bag off, and then simply remove these attachment straps. There's one on either side. You're good to go. Now the bag comes with four or three different straps, four on each size. There's small, medium, and large. I haven't used the large yet. I have used the medium and the small. Um, I tried the medium, they were too long, so I end up using the small. And this, on my bike, only requires two straps, obviously. So I only need to use two. I have the other ones in here, the other one in here. However, if, for example, you want to try this bag on a different motorcycle, these straps might help you out. Or, if you have an aftermarket seat, or some sort of aftermarket add-on to your rack, where you need the extra length, these other straps will work. Now, as I mentioned, the bag has this sewn-in Cordura po uh, pocketing system on to hook onto the rack. However, on the back corners, if you choose not to use this, there are buckles for the other straps that I just showed you. So there's four buckles, two at each corner, two in front. Also, along the front of the bag, there is eyelets for a carry strap, which also comes with the bag construction of this bag is top-notch. I can't say enough about it and I've, uh, I just mentioned that a few moments ago, but this is excellent. The entire bag has a vulcanized Cordura material, almost rubberized, covered up. Looks, well, looks just by touching it, feels waterproof. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the water protection built into the bag in a moment, but generally speaking, the bag here, as you can see in the video, is a silvery color, which is common among BMW soft luggage. It has a reflective stripe here. Okay. It has vulcanized coverings on all the zippers. And from a storage standpoint, there is a side storage compartment on one and both. So you have two side storage compartments, one on the back of the bag, small storage compartment, and one on the top of the bag, up here. Okay. There is, as I mentioned, if you remove the bag, there's a handle to carry it right here. And underneath and on the back, there is actually a molded, say molded rubber, very firm shape built into the bag, a tray and a backrest off sort of thing. Um, I don't know if I'd rely on this entirely as a backrest, but it does offer some confidence to your passenger uh, if you choose to use it as such. On the bottom here, as you can see, it's ribbed and it's firm, so you'll find that this here bag shouldn't sag or become out of shape over time from wear. Uh, it's excellent. From a water protection standpoint, the bag itself, like most BMW soft luggage, has an internal bag sort of thing, a rucksack type setup with a pull string, purse string at the top. The way this works is this inner bag, which is actually the liner of the, of, the, of the unit, has a string at the top with a cinch pin, so it actually is designed to seal around its contents. Then in turn there's a tab here 
on this, which snaps to the top, or to the underside of the top, okay? To hold that up in the air. And the idea is that if any water leaks around the main zipper here, this should provide an additional degree of protection. To keep this bag, however, this because some of us don't ride in the rain at all, keep this bag out of the way, what BMW has done, or their, their contractor who made this, they've employed these eyelets at each corner which hook up to a button underneath here to hold this bag liner up almost like a curtain. Uh, keep it out of the way because otherwise you're fishing around in here to find where things are. Anyway, very good. Uh, reports of this from a water protection standpoint are pretty good. I have read some folks' uh, online comments that they've used them in heavy rain and sometimes water does still end up getting in and tends to pool in the bottom so you end up having to dry it out. But generally speaking, soft luggage, uh, I've never found any. I'm sure some people will disagree. I've never found any soft luggage that doesn't leak to some degree. Okay, So be conscious of that. If you too a lot of long distance traveling where you're away from home for extended periods of time. This tail bag can also be used as a passenger seat luggage bag, okay? Hence the, uh, the usefulness of the additional straps that come with it. So you can actually sit it up here on the passenger pad and strap it down to the bag in the four corners, one here, one here, and then the two grab rails. And it'll work great, actually serve as a slight backrest for you as you're driving. It works great. Overall, there is, I believe, three different bags offered by BMW under their Motorrad line that fit this bike, tail bags. This is the medium size, so there's one step up from this that is actually larger. And uh, it matches this. It's the same sort of uh, silver vulcanized look with the, uh, the blue liner, all that sort of thing. So it's actually a matching, a matching line. And very impressed, I'm very pleased. This is the third piece of BMW soft luggage I've bought. And uh, very pleased with all three. They're excellent. I can't recommend them enough. Just going to mention as a side note, this is my tank bag. And I spoke briefly about this in one of my reviews. I like the bag for the most part, but I do have some issues with the interference it has on the bars so it actually touches the bars at full stop very difficult to get a tank bag to fit this bike and the GTL is even worse since the bars come farther back however you can buy the BMW tank bag which is significantly more expensive than this one and I'm sure is tippity top quality uh, but if you're if cost is a factor and it always is with me this is a good compromise this is the Tortex Streetline bag the small bag they offer on the top here, it has a map pouch, pulls off and holds on with Velcro. The, uh, the unit itself is pretty decent quality, I have no problems with it. I really, really like the attachment system. It uses two panels that bolt onto the bike and then the bag acts as a bridge between those panels using two spin clips on the front and a Velcro pad on the back. It pulls right off, very nice. As you can see, you can see it in the video, I've put 3M paint protector film on this central gray trim strip so I don't scratch it. Even though this is smooth and clean, dirt will eventually get in there and vibration will eventually scuff that. So I guess that's my one little niggly thing. I like to keep these things as fresh as possible so I've actually put that covering on there. But fueling or taking the bag in, if you're stopped, this, uh, this system works very nice. Once again, to put it on, it's the two front tabs, spin them, pass it down at the back and you're good to go. Now inside the bag, there's a, a Velcroed form ring made of plastic. As you can see, it's not quite the fit and finish of the BMW bag, but still pretty good. Uh, if your bag is full, or if these things sort of gets in, get in the way because the shape of whatever you're carrying in here is a little off, you can remove it. It's velcroed in on both sides. Overall, the bag itself is not waterproof. It comes with this waterproof covering. It sits over top of the whole thing designed to fit and cinch down to keep water off. So it would be similar material to the blue liner in the BMW bag with, of course, an open window top for the map pouch on top of the bag. 
the underside of the top of the bag has a few pen organizers, pen and pencil organizers, a Velcro pocket, and then a windowed, well, I'll call it an ID case of some sort, sits in the top. I love having, and always loved having a tank bag on my bike. I find with my wallet, my cell phone, my house keys, my garage door opener, everything can fit in here. And I really, really find that very convenient. Even, even for short jaunts, even just to, to get coffee or to, uh, to driving to the office, I really like having a tank bag. And I like one that can pop on and off easy. The RT has a rail system, which is very efficient. But this sort of thing is, is almost as good, and I really like it. So overall, a little bit of interference. Probably not quite the construction quality of the BMW bag, but a good compromise at $150 versus $270. Anyway, until next time.